We woke up to a bit of a surprise yesterday morning and this morning, dew and frost. Not something that happens very often in the desert. Yesterday we had a bunch of tables and chairs set out for all the attendees and they were covered with water and ice when we woke up. So we put everything up uh, last night because it looks like it did it again this morning, so I'm glad we did, but that means I gotta move all these tables and chairs back up to the airport. Workshop here at the Township Homestead. Uh, we're super excited you guys are here and that you get to kind of go on this journey with us. So I'm gonna hand it over to Hayden here in a second. He's gonna walk you through what we're working on today. Also, today, the Jacob Garden Beds is the sponsor. Uh, lunchtime, we'll be going around looking at all, all of our Vajega beds, and Asher's gonna tell you all about them. Um, but they provided lunch today and helped bring down the cost of tickets for everybody. So give them a round of applause, Yay. even though they're not here. I think we're just gonna get right into it. Um, today's gonna be very, yesterday was quite introductory, lots of new stuff. Um, so we're gonna head over there, do a, a, a quick recap on what we did yesterday, um, and then just get straight into it. here from Australia and I love Super Adobe and I'll be your workshop leader. Brittany. I'm Eric. I'm Sylvia and I also brought my boyfriend Jimmy with me but I sent him for coffee. <laughs> we'll be back. <laughs> Morning, I'm Lewis, Ernest and Donna. Hi, I'm Leslie. Justin. Harry. Susan. Dave. Jonathan. <laughs> <laughs> A way that you can check level from side. Do we have anything long enough to where you could go all the way around? You can see. Yeah, you can see what's low and what's high. So over here on the right, where the fold is, is a dip, and uh, this this side over here looks like it's just a little bit lower there. Coming over to the third, making them match each other, and. Bags, bags are always about thirds. So we've gone thirds that way. Now we've got the fold which starts there and then it ends here. We're gonna divide that into thirds as well. This is very particular, but it's how you get really nice. The, 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 our folds, it'll be the end of our buttresses. They're gonna be permanently exposed. They're not gonna be up against something. That it's not gonna disappear any messy work. It's just gonna be the end of a bag sitting there. And so this is where if you have an exposed end, I was talking about plastering and having these dog ears that stick out. Um, this system manages those dog ears and gives you a really nice clean fold. If you bunch this up and try and plaster on it, you put it on and the plaster will just fall straight off. It's so aggravating. So what you do, you grab your foot and you pop it on that first line. And, that, and what you need to make sure is that you've caught these little triangles here. So we could get an awesome bucket chain, maybe three people over here. I'm gonna double check and make sure that my dog ears have been caught. That one has, and that one has. And I'm gonna lift up here. I'm gonna keep a bit of tension on there. I'm gonna keep that one upright with my other foot. Yeah. And then I'm just going to slide my foot out, but make sure to keep that tension really tight. Buttress is looking good. So 
but to buttress something is to come out at a um, perpendicular ang angle, hopefully, from another wall or another another structure. As I was saying yesterday, we're gonna build this perfect half egg, top, top of an egg, which is the universal you know, symbol for the strongest shape possible out of the least amount of material. So we've built this perfect universally geometric form and then we're cutting all these holes in it. So we have to um, build these buttresses to kind of um, apologize to the structure of the dome uh, and say, oh, we're gonna remedy the fact that we've upset this perfect balance. And we're gonna pull out these buttresses. We're gonna do two of them because we wanna be doubly sure that we're making it strong. Three foot is like a good general rule for either like small to medium sized buildings. I think Jonathan actually said a lot of your buttresses are around three feet yeah. on most of your small buildings. Mm -hmm. And there's a few different ways to do them. You can start and then you can come in at an angle and you can come and meet your building, which, uh, uh, which these ones are. You can step them back. Every couple rows, you can step back to more of a step look or you can just come up straight and then go in. And I think we're gonna come up Relatively straight. We haven't nutted that out, but I had straight in mind. But well, because we're doing the, the curve over. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Something like that. <laughs> Sweet. Yesterday, I forgot to tell you about what our lunch was. So today, today is the second day of the workshop, sponsored by Bajega, and I thought I should show you what I'm preparing in here while the crew's working. We've got potatoes in the Instant Pot. I'm making a potato salad. We have cookies going in the oven. We have hamburgers ready to go on the grill. We have hot dogs still in the fridge. That's your job, hot dogs. All right, are you excited about today's lunch? I wanna make a dog. Okay. Was potato salad on the menu for today? No, but I saw that we had potatoes over in the kitchen. So I thought, hey, why not complicate this a little bit more and make some potato salad? So that's what we're doing. Mojito, are you still excited? He said, Mo, are you still excited? Look him. What? So we're just gonna make sure that we lay our gravel bags hard up against this edge and we're gonna re-measure as we go. You head over, <laughs> yeah, over to here, you can um, grab a partner, draw your line on the ground, walk your bag out. That's banana. Can I also get two people that remember how to do the barbed wire? Anyone here from yesterday who wants to do the barbed wire? And then we'll bring it up and drop it once, just lightly. Yep, right on its nose once more. Bam. Yep. And then we're going to fly in. Very nice. Nice and slow. That's it. Oh, my God. Right there. Nice. Yep, you can come this way, shovel it this way. Yep, very nice. Cool. We can take a little bit out, that's, that's very common. And uh, all good. Yep, we're looking nice. Cut right in between two barbs. So there's a barb, there's a barb, we'll go right in the middle. And then keep your feet there. Yeah, stay. Perfect. Stops. Yep, so I'll take them off, it's you're perfect. Yep, so that's your live end. You can grab that one with your hand. Be comfortable with it. Keep that foot there. And then you can grab that one. Yep, go. let go. Yep, perfect. Thanks, thanks, thanks for checking. Buttresses, yeah. yeah, beautiful. Yep. So now you can pause there and then you can wind up. So keep the tension and we'll take a little step back just in case anything funny happens. And take your time and really find out where the roll wants to go. Great, 
So we can measure out um, two more buttresses. We can just measure off this one. We'll cut two more and do the exact same thing again. And then we're also going to get the big main barbed wire going as well. So basically whenever barbed wire is on site, it's good for the barbed wire holder to just say barbed wire, barbed wire, barbed wire as they come in. And just everybody knows what's going on and everybody knows that there's barbed wire coming in. So you can do that. Barbed wire coming in. Oh, that's a little baby barbed wire. Keep it going. Keep it going. Okay. Barbed wire. Here we go. Barbed wire. Barbed wire. Who wants the barbed wire? <laughs> Massage the bag. You just shove that in like that. So it just helps you get that really clean angle. Look at that. Yeah, that's tasty, yes. Yeah, it's, it's almost like a carpentry <laughs> joint. And that's our line there, so we've got to keep that in mind. And we can also bucket in some gravel all around here. We are so busy. I've been inside cooking all day. Yeah? You've been out here working all day. Yeah, I actually got to do some work today, which is good. I know, I want to get back out here. I'm hoping after lunch I'll actually get to help the crew. Yeah, you will. You will. Yeah. But they're doing so good. Like, yeah. we've already laid so much bag and we're about to do another circle mm -hmm. here in a minute. And that should be, we should be wrapping up the gravel bags really soon. Which means, <laughs> that means the dome is going to start coming in. This is very exciting. All right. I gotta go finish making our hamburgers and hot dogs, mm -hmm. and then um, 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Be over I'll for call lunch. it for lunch. Yeah. Okay. We'll see you there. Okay. <laughs> That is exactly what you're fighting all the time with an open buttress. You, you're fighting a droop, and you're fighting dog ears, and you're fighting it drooping. So again, it, we've chosen the really hard material to use at, the, at this early stage. It's good for some reasons, it feels really fast, um, but the, the one drawback is you can't really make a form with it anywhere near as well as you can, as you can soil. Justin, you can look down, make sure it's a clear shoot. No twists, perfect. Thank you, Justin. Grab the loose bag, face, so not the back. Yep, come up a little bit. Perfect. Stretch your elbow down and lean back. Perfect. Yep. And give it a big <laughs> jiggle when you're in the hole as well. 
So we just do a jiggle first before the vortex. Yeah. Your elbows lean back. Get it really tight as short as you can, and I'll jiggle. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yep. Now we're going to do a vortex. Oh, nah. We'll, we'll, we'll get three more buckets in and then do a vortex. You guys have got to see this. This is great. <laughs> You're done, but I can. Yeah, you can do it again. Sure. And then stop there and rave. It's going on the inside. One there. That's it. That's that's really great for a gravel bag. Again, it's really hard, but that's really great. That's looking awesome. Super Adobe Dome Workshop is sponsored by Bajega Garden Beds. These beds can be configured multiple ways to fit your exact space. They're super durable, easy to assemble, corrosion resistant, non-toxic, food grade safe, and they look great too. Today's sponsor is Vajega Garden Beds, so we're going to take everybody around our tour and show them what we have planted and uh, why we chose Vajega. This is by far my favorite garden beds on the property because none of these plants have died. Um, this is our two smaller Vajega garden beds. In these beds we only have desert hardy plants. They're not edible, but they are attracting hummingbirds. Our Vajega beds have housed a garden, desert plants, trellis decorations, and more. Yeah, and they're super easy to take apart so that you can move them when the urge just happens. Guys, um, I like to take apart things and move them. Yes, you do. Vajega is running a huge Black Friday sale right now until November 30th. So if you've been on the fence about getting some garden beds, now's the time. Yep, just use the link below so you can get a head start on your garden for next year. And thanks again, Vajega, for sponsoring the Super W Workshop. The Hyper W Soul Shed Office. It is a nine foot by 14 foot rectangle intersected with a 10 foot circle. Uh, this was gonna be straw bale. And then Ooh. the cost of lumber tripled <laughs> and we were like, no thanks. Uh, so this is actually where we found out about Hyper W from Clay, who was here yesterday. Um, I don't know, we were just looking at, we went to Ransom Ranch, we went and looked at a bunch of Super Adobe domes, and we went and looked at Clay's house, and we kind of learned about the Hyper Adobe technique, and just sort of the differences between the two, and we're like, this sounds good, let's try this. Um, also, that circle was going to be a dome at some point during the design process, and there's just going to be a small roof over the rectangle part, and then a dome that's stuck up above it. We changed our minds on that at the last minute and uh, just decided to go straight up with the whole thing. There's now a Vajega garden bed over here that we hope will eventually attract hummingbirds to look out the window. Outdoor shower. This was a, what was that, a one month project? Yep. Uh, it's hyper adobe bags up to about here. Well, it kind of goes up higher as it goes around. And then a stupid amount of bottle bricks.
this is great. We did the lev eye level thing. We've knocked all this down. We had a bit of bit of interesting stuff happening over here, but it's all good. We've come out on top, and that's fine. So the next thing we'll do is run some barbed wire, barbed wire and bricks over there. And but before we do the barbed wire, we'll measure an entire circle with both of those things, computer aided and on paper. I'm still waiting to be here to make the final calls on some things. And one of those is the spring line. So when we talked about over on there, we had a dotted line, which was the spring line. Can anyone remember what that meant? Outside to inside, yep. Starts, Starts coming in. Starts coming in, yep. So you can think of it as the arch springs forth from that point. So springs forward from that point. I wouldn't suggest ever doing a spring line that's below ground so that your foundation rows are part of your dome or part of your arch. So um, that's why we've gone straight up, which is why we needed the plumb bob for the first two layers. We're in the middle of day two. Day one was two rows of gravel filled sub layers, so foundation layers. And then we had one more layer of gravel today, gravel filled bags, and then now we've started on our first stabilized earth mix uh, super adobe bag. So it's been going great. We've also been introducing the two buttresses, which can be a little bit tricky and a little bit fiddly. So we've laid our first two buttresses, which will be for our door opening. So it's all going great. People are on the mixers for the first time. The mixers are running off solar power, which is wild. And uh, yeah, everything's working really well. So go team. That's looking really good as is. The all powerful brick. <coughs> and see now, this is already holding way better than the dusty stuff. Just like that, day two of the Super Adobe Workshop was finished. I'm the only one wrapping up today uh, because Ashley did go to the grocery and get more food for tomorrow. We are going through it. Also, Hayden's taking a break, uh, but just check this out. Look at this. We got two whole more layers and we laid our very first 
earthen layer today, which means that it tamps different and it locks in different. It's also going to be a lot more stable because the rocks are a little bit jiggly. So we get to put in the door form tomorrow. We get to start building up higher. I'm really excited to see this thing start to take shape. So sun's going down. We got lots to do to get ready for tomorrow. We'll see you then.